Amid shifting attitudes towards refugees and undocumented persons in the U.S., Evanston and its school districts have designated themselves safe havens for people that fall under those categories. If um, immigration officers have uh, come to our schools, um, that they must go through, I mean, I think there's legal language that says if they believe there's an imminent danger, you know, they can, they can enter school facilities and obviously um, school property, and we've maintained that, of course. Um, but if there's not an imminent danger of any sort, there must be approval by our superintendent. So they have to go through the superintendent to get access to our schools. Even though District 65 and the neighboring Evanston Township High School District are designated as safe havens, even internally, refugee and undocumented statuses aren't openly discussed. Annie Crumholz, a senior at ETHS, says that she doesn't ask people about their immigration status, as she believes it just alienates them and adds to the problem. What we heard back that was that a lot of families and children were concerned um, who were either immigrant families um, who potentially were undocumented, who were refugee families, were concerned about their safety. The safe haven resolution is really part of, I think, a, a lot of initiatives, or I wouldn't even call them initiatives, a lot of work that's being done um, within Evanston schools to make sure we are a welcoming environment for all children, um, regardless of race, regardless of income, regardless of special needs, regardless of status. For Medill, I'm Henry Damore.